Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about temperature and aero tolerance. Now, in the last video on pH and osmotic, we said when you get your tubes, you have to mix them. Now that's true for the temperature. For aero tolerance, we're not going to mix them. But just to remind you of how the growth is going to be scored, if you have perfectly clear, you're going to call that a zero when you do your temperature. One, a little bit cloudy. Two, more cloudy. And then finally, a three plus is going to be where you can't read anything through that tube. So you're going to get your temperature tubes, you're going to mix them up, and then how are you going to interpret those results? So basically, guys, our bacteria are considered mesophiles. So they grow very well at 37 degrees. So the two tubes that you have then that are going to fall into this range are going to be the 25 and 37. So when you record your results, you want to make sure if yours grow 2 to 3 plus at 25 and 37, then you're going to write down that you have a mesophile. Now, in the real world, you might have something that's a thermophile that's going to grow at higher temperatures. You might have a psychophile, lower temperatures, but yours today should be a mesophile. Now, when we do the aero tolerance, however, you do not want to mix your tubes. Repeat. Do not mix your tubes. We're using FTM, okay, fluid thioglycolate. It's going to bind up that oxygen. So if you have an obligate anaerobe, it's going to grow at the top. If you have a facultative anaerobe, it grows really good at the top, but as there's no room for the microbes to grow to use oxygen, it starts growing throughout the tube. Your obligate anaerobes don't have enzymes that can detoxify oxygen, so they will start growing at the bottom of the tube all the way up to where they sense oxygen and they stop growing, and you're going to see a clear area. So, let's take a look at what these tubes actually look like. So, this is a good example of an obligate aerobe. If you take a look, it grows right at the top here, beautiful. This is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The next one that we have is going to be a facultative anaerobe, and this is Proteus mirabilis. What you should see is that it grows a little heavier at the top, and then it starts to grow all the way down to the bottom of the tube. Our last one is Clostridium sporogenes, and this one is beautiful. If you take a look, it grows really well down here. If you follow the growth up, you can see this clear area here. That's where the oxygen's at. You can see the green color there, and that's perfectly clear. This is your example of an obligate anaerobe. And, and that's it for the temperature and aero tolerance.